Hello, I am Aziz, your aircraft maintenance engineer. It is really a great pleasure to finally meet you all in person. And now, let's start our first video. While enjoying your flights, I am sure you realize some tiny little big strips at the trailing edge of wings. But the question is, what are they and what are they used for? Let's reveal the mystery. I made a research for you and I went to the Sabia Gökçen airport, asked people, especially passengers, to guess what they are. The first common answer was, they are antennas. But I can assure you that they are definitely not antennas. They are, my friends, static dischargers. Let's go back to our research. When people answered correctly, I asked them second question, which was, what are they used for? And the first common answer was, they are used to protect airplanes from lightning strikes. Although, is that true? This is also wrong, but what is the truth? Let's find out. First of all, we need to learn about static electricity. Static electricity is created when objects with different electrical properties come into contact and electrons from one substance are transferred to the another. You can actually feel static electricity when hugging with someone or opening a door. I hate that! The transfer of electrons is often achieved by friction when two objects are together, such as rubbing a balloon against your hair that causes your hair to stand up. The same effect occurs on an airplane due to the friction against the plane as it moves through the air. This friction strips electrons from the atmosphere and causes them to build up on the skin of the airplane. The creation of static charges is largely dependent on the ability of two substances to conduct electricity. Air, for example, is typically a much better insulator at high altitudes, which has less humid than at low altitudes. As a result, a static charge that builds up on an aircraft at high altitude tends to become much larger because the air acts as an insulator, preventing the excess electrons from returning back to the air. This electrical charge can eventually become so great that the excess electrons begin to ionize local air particles and create a corona around parts of the airplane, spatial on wing tips, vertical and horizontal stabilizers, and other protrusions. When antennas go into corona, the noise appears like a strong signal to the receiver. In some cases, the automatic gain control circuit, sensing noise like a strong signal, desensitizes the receiver to the point where it may go perfectly quiet. The pilot assumes no one is calling, but in reality, corona current has shut down the receiver. What about another bonus information? I checked NASA research for you and I found out that the interface become most likely on the frequencies between 10 kHz and 350 MHz, which most radio and communication operates. Now we have learned lots about static electricity, but I know you wonder what static discharger got to do with this all. The main purpose of a static discharger is to improve the dispersal of accumulated aircraft static charges in an effort to reduce the resultant radio interference. Rather than wait until a large charge is developed and discharged, a static discharger will allow a small but constant stream of electrons. Static dischargers build a charge quietly. They lower aircraft voltage build up below a level where antennas go into corona. Their location on the airframe enables them to serve a role as a lighting conductor and provide protection against arcing for the surrounding aircraft structure. Static discharges are replaceable and may be mounted on the supports that are attached to the aircraft structure in a such a way as to ensure adequate electric contact. For static discharges to work properly, all the parts of the aircraft need to be on the same electrical charge or level. This is achieved by bonding strips 
connecting all separate components to provide a clear low resistance band for the electrons to flow. Comparing with unprotected airframe, static discharger can reduce the noise more or equal to 60 dB. At night flights, if outside is dark enough, you can actually see static discharge at the tailing edge of the wing. They are just like sparks. During walk rounds, you should definitely inspect the static discharges for integrity, security and conditions. A damaged static discharges may be an indication of lightning strike. So, if you found any damaged or missing static discharger, please report this to the maintenance crew. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video and share it with your friends. You can also comment what you want to see next. Until next time, take care.